All right, so moving right along, I turned off some of the corresponding uh, beeps, just in case uh, I have to go back and edit the uh, fornification under the consent of the king. Uh, you can't curse on public television. Hello, Moto. Excuse me. Uh, let me just go back here. So I have to make sure it's running. And it is. Uh, so you'll have around uh, close to a minute to not curse. So, yeah. This is important. Believe it or not. It's important. <laughs> All right, so... We're going to talk about analyze. Analyze. I can't be cursing in front of three-year-olds. The horse won't run. <sighs> to curse at it. You got to whip it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The only way you get a horse to run is to whip it. Right? You can't curse at a horse. At a three-year-old. You have to whip it. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if you can whip your three-year-old. Some do. Some parents whip their three-year-olds. Within an inch of their lives. Anyway, so, again, we're going to analyze, right? Parents, children, parent-child relationships. And they run the gamut, right? They run the gamut, some of these families. Tools for modeled, or tools for model analysis and systems checking are located on the Analyze tab. Other tools on this tab allow you to add color to your ductwork and piping based on defined criteria. The Spaces and Zones panel contains the tools for placing space objects and space separator lines. The check systems, and, or I should say the check systems, which just so happens to be a counting payroll software platform. The check systems panel contains tools for checking MEP systems to ensure proper connectivity and valid system assignments of components. Bad news. You take that and put it in a different context. Note that access to the color schemes and area and volume computations options, the uh, area and volume computations options is available. Area and volume computations options are available. Look at that two different ways. By clicking the down arrow on the Spaces and Zones panel. Right. So, analyze Spaces and Zones. Right? And there's that little Microsoft window color. The old logo. The old logo. And as shown in the figure before you, whereas building and space properties, as shown in figure 1.8, can be accessed from the arrow on the reports and schedules panel. So as you see, there's this. And, and this is you know, going to be important. This is going to be important. These are the types of uh, projects that, that um, we can start. And, and anyone would enjoy you know, the civil side of this, whereas you could get involved in, in, in where you know, the ways and means uh, go. Where's what are we going to do with all those taxpayers? What are we going to do with taxpayer, taxpayers' dollars? How are we going to allocate them best to suit the overall good of the community? Take it a step further, and you say to yourself, well, from a more global perspective, what country needs what? Well, we know certain countries need lots of things. Right? On the developed countries, developed countries, third world countries boroughs here in New York City need lots of things. Let's keep it simple. You know, we could even go out well, we and go a little advanced. We could even maybe go into the Persian Gulf, look at Dubai or the Arab, United Arab Emirates and see their palm fronds that they're building into the Persian Gulf or they're actually even building a, a, a terraformed earth out of landfill populating with palm trees and lavish hotels and Spring, it's an oasis in the Persian Gulf. It's beautiful where that money comes from. 
whole other story. But I digress. That's for a UN model assembly. And we're not at the Grand Hyatt right now. Someday. If they pay their damn parking tickets. <laughs> anyway. So, there's lots of things that, that can be um, analyzed or constructed or... Reported and scheduled. But before we go any further, let's take a look at the list. Because all of this is important. All of these uh, parameters are going to play into end. The good thing about it is, you know, I'm going to assume that these are pretty much burned in. They're some pretty much set, etched in stone. Right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not. We're really not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm just hoping my little uh, bullpen call off doesn't get towed from uh, in front of PetSmart. Anyway, so I got things to do, but in the interim, I, I'll, I'll do what I like to do. I like to uh, delve into the uh, intricacies of some of these more uh, interesting subjects. If I have to do it on foot, I will. So automotive facilities, General Motors, for example, Tesla, things like that, that nature. Uh, Ford Motor Company, the Model T. Convention Center, Jacob Jam, it's Lang City Convention Center. I don't know why I went East Coast on that one, but I did. Courthouse, lots of courthouses. And, and we always need more courthouses, right? And, and, and if you really want to take this to the next level, I highly suggest you look into Revit Renaissance. If you're into the marble arch, some of the uh, more sculptured abilities or sculpturing abilities of the software, you can make very ornate, magnanimous structures with, uh, with this. And again, Jason and the Argonauts. If you're into Greek architecture, or anything that is ancient, you'll like Renaissance. And again, it's not for everyone. You, uh, you have to know your Corinthian leather. Now, or your dollar store fabrics. Dining, bar lounge, or leisure. I'm sure that's a popular one. What is it? Is it like 70% fail? In any event, some of them are nice. Some of them are nice. Signing a nice, relaxing atmosphere. But I suspect there should be one more parameter in here. Right here, there should be a line for percentage of back alley deals. Right here. And that should be, uh, or at least there should be a tolerance level of it. It should be like plus or minus zero. Right under this last one should be um, back alley deals performed. Let's see, what other parameter could we put in the dining bar leisure uh, uh, parameter box? Statute violations. There should be some. Yeah, there's there's not enough. There's not an, enough. Uh, there aren't any um, criminal statute parameters in this particular uh, facility type. But <laughs> there's always room for improvement with the software platform. Well, then maybe we'll give them a call. We'll give what this call see if they can incorporate some type of um, parameter that just brings these folks right in, hook, line, and sinker. Dining family, dormitory, you have to have a RA, right? Exercise center, fire station, lots of Dalmatians. Again, this is a huge thing. Where's the dog? What's the dog's name? Where was it bred? Should be a dog, right? Doesn't every fire station get a Dalmatian? Anyway, and how come it has to have black dots? How come it can't be a cat instead of a Dalmatian? I don't know. It's a veterinarian thing. Now, that's the thing, though, if you notice. Shh, no veterinarian. Anyway, I heard it's harder to be a vet than just to be a physician. Gymnasium, need those. Anyone see that Agony of Defeat video? What was it? By World of Sports. The dude who tries to do the flip over that. Uh, we call that the horse smacks into a big puff of powder comes out. 
Hospital or health care, hey, they, I, I, I don't like building hospitals. It's, it's something I just, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in building hospitals. I'm not interested in, 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 in flipping health care providers on and off. I'll design in the hospital when I'm dead. Anyway, I want to be cremated um, with my dog's ashes. I want to be dumped in the bay down by the barge, by uh, the dumps down the stands. And if, if you want, you can snort a line of my ashes like Keith Richards, throw me in the channel. That's how I want to go out. Epitaph. Last will and testament. Anyway, her name was Puppy Yahoo. Maggie, that was my dog's name. Hotel. Hotel. Me does. I, I know there's one coming up on the Mockby. I don't know what, what a chain. I don't know if it's R, C, I, or I, I interval. But there's going to be a hotel. It may be a Wyndham. We don't know. Could be a Wyndham. Could be a Wyndham chain of hotels. Well, Steve Wynn from Vegas. You know how those shanty Vegas characters operate. They'll fucking edge in somehow. But anyway, it's right down the block. Right about the firehouse there across from Costco. The parking garage is up. They may, even, they may even have gambling. You know, they may sometimes apply for a gambling license. But we'll see. We'll just have to look at it from a distance. But uh, it could very well be a Wyndham. I don't have any points. I sold a timeshare. One side. Sure. For Wyndham. <laughs> I don't have any green weeks. I usually just get fucking blue weeks. I had 25 blue years, man. <laughs> I don't get green weeks. Motel? Uh, I'd rather not. I've been in a few. I confess those sins all the time. Motion picture theater. I don't even know anymore. Are they even going to have them? We are in motion. We will do things. Hopefully we can hide some of our sins behind the room of lost souls. Anyway. Uh, I don't want to go into uh, the uh, Exorcist episode that I've been through, but multifamily is always important, and I love MDUs. This is my thing. I'm an MDU junkie. I, I do know a bit about multi-dwelling unit construction. Um, but sometimes I don't know where the trash compact goes. Anyway, but I did have the uh, Star Wars uh, Death Star um, figure set. Trash compact and monster from Star Wars. Parking garage, they're difficult. When I was working for one firm there, I said this before, they're really difficult running conduit on those, uh, ten, those angles. I don't know which level am I on? But Revit helps you with that. Revit will help you with that. It can be a bit tricky. Paralleling conduits equidistant from the, uh, the ramp, right? And making all of those uh, pens, because they're not, they're, not, they're not right 90 degree angles. They're acute in some cases, right? Obtuse in some cases. Penitentiary, well, no right angles. <laughs> so, you know, they can listen to everything that they like to uh, listen to. Or listen towards. And you order from commissary. And the only problem with this is there's no Mrs. Freshley's pricing guidelines. And right here, there should be Mrs. Freshley's um, honey bun and ramen noodle packet uh, parameters. <laughs> anyway, and there should be restrictions on how that money gets in the first place. There should be a parameter here. Where's the source of this fucking clown's Mrs. Freshly? Where are the sneakers coming from? Where are the t-shirts coming from? Where's all this shit? Where's the money card fucking coming from? This is the parameter here you gotta watch. That's where these gangs can fucking operate. They're fucking criminal enterprises just by ordering from fucking commissary. You think I'm kidding? Where's the CO? Any penitentiary, they'll fucking tell you. They're fucking creepy, man. Anyway, I studied them from the inside and out. However, again, I've never done prison time. Uh, but I almost died from starvation. Police station. I don't really know anything bad to design a police station. I had to fucking try to stay away from them. I'm, I'm, I, I'm pretty good at it uh, to a certain extent. I ain't perfect at it, 
But I've been able to stay away as much as I could for an extended period, you know. But uh, it's a station. And sometimes you could stay there for a duration. Anyway, yeah, it would be interesting, right? But I would imagine the, uh, the design criteria, not only the design criteria, but any privileged information uh, would be something that you would probably have to go through a very rigorous uh, background screening. You probably go through a fucking screen itself and come out like chopped meat from a butcher. But, uh, yeah, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. But I know they have fucking antennas and they have beam antennas and directional beam antennas and uh, they got microwave antennas and they have ham radios and they have, um, 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 they have ultra low frequency transmission systems and substations underneath and they have seismic detectors, they have all sorts of things. I can just guess from where I'm standing. They have pulse code modulation, frequency modulation, quadrature amplitude modulation frequencies. They've got anything, NTSC, PAL, you name it. You ain't gonna see it unless they want you to see it. And if you just so happen to see it, you better hope you aren't the one they're there to see. Post office, always good. Always need a post office, you know, that's good. That's how I survived, you know. My uh, debacle since 9-11, it wasn't for the fucking United States Post Office. I wouldn't be alive. I don't want to hear anything about putting this into the private sector. That's going to have to be here forever. In any event, okay, the U.S. Postal Service says I hold them in high regards, high esteem. Where is this building? we got the mosque down here on Avenue Ave. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I didn't anticipate it being made from all of that oriented strand board. I like to see the uh, the stone and the ornate when it's done. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I think maybe Adco has an office space down there. I heard they maybe. I just want to hear a rumor that Adco Electric from Staten Island was advertising office space down at the fucking mosque. If drive down Edward Curry Drive, I'm thinking Curry. Anyway, so I'm driving past there one day. Sure as shit, I see a fucking it for office space for that mosque. I mean, why is Adco advertising in Bayonne for office space for a mosque? You know, it just, just seemed odd. Retail, always need retail. For ground level retail is one of the anchors of any residential MDU property. As a matter of fact, the Cipriani Club on Maiden Lane is a perfect example. Now, per se, it's not retail, but what it is is an anchor store. Every, every high-rise residential, multi-unit residential dwelling unit needs an anchor. Uh, and if it is indeed a triple net, right, tenancy common type of scenario, well, whew, then each tenant is a part parcel to the uh, anchor, right? Um, that goes for uh, all sorts of different uh, strip malls, and, uh, and we have a few of them here in this town. But again, I really don't... Uh, I'm really not involved in the uh, organizational managerial hierarchy. I just peep. <laughs> you remember? Oh, we didn't talk about this. <sighs> I littered. I littered. I got fined. I littered here. And that's it. That's all I do. Well, no, I don't do it anymore. But I uh, got a ticket for littering. <laughs> Seven, I actually got seven tickets for littering. Um, but I got seven peeps and one Italian one with a mustache. Just keep that in mind. All right, so speaking of peeps, I peep around town. But that's all I do. I don't get paid. I just peep. I keep my eyes open. I keep my nose. Uh, I keep my, uh, keep my nose clean. I keep my ears to the grindstone. And uh, I try not to deviate as much from center as I uh, have been in the past. It's a very polarizing place around here. You can't shit in this town with somebody knowing what color it is. School University, right? So that's going to be interesting this fall. See how that works out. Matters not. What you, you'll get out of school or university what you put into it. Faber is right across the Kill Van Cull if you want to go to Animal House. See if Dean Wormer gives you a hard time if you want to open a sorority or a frat. Sports arena, now there's something, huh? I'm not 100% sure that I would be qualified with some of the uh, 
you push the boundaries on the uh, on these. You can push the boundaries on the engineering and architecture, physical statics and strengths of materials. They're acoustical. They're very, 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 very acoustical. And traffic patterns play a big part of that. Town hall? Well, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Small towns have them. And you always hear of them advertised in papers. Town hall meeting, town hall meeting. Transportation hubs, you know. The Farley you know, Post Office, you know. Over there, right town Manhattan. That's being changed to the Moynihan. It's going to be part of the hub of the building for the Seven Line, which huh, someday you may find it. Right across the river, we hawking. I think maybe hook up with River Point. Hook up, come right out, right to Roots Chris. Steak, fried onions, <laughs> boom, and we're done. Or could very well link up to a, a viaduct by the Lincoln Tunnel. But there's a fist fight. You know, there's a fist fight between that tunnel. But all the sand hogs would be really happy. I'm sure. Can you imagine taking a train from Jamaica, Queens? All the way to Ruth Chris Steakhouse, and then Lincoln on a train to Hoboken and heading out to uh, take a Greyhound out to uh, the Sofitel Ia Ora in the French Polynesia. Or a warehouse, which I actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm interested in these. I'm interested in these. Because of the roof, the, uh, the, the bar joists, and uh, the span. That you can, you have to be able to span in here. This is important. You can't have the forklift drivers hitting columns all the time. You know, it's just not conducive to the overall good of the product. Workshop, which that's what I usually do. I just work on Santa's workshop. Anyway, but I'm 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 not trying to uh, leave the uh, land of misfit toys. So, yeah, so we've analyzed that to a certain extent. These reports are going to be important. These schedules are going to be important. And the first schedule that you really should uh, remember in this uh, class for three-year-olds is that um, you have to always attend zero period. 